Cam doing a VR to Lisa at Tarot Alchemist when my tripod is just precariously sit, sitting there like like the fool. Oh, I better not breathe too hard. It's going to topple over. So, yeah, it's a um, Gifts of the Magi Tarot Spread tag. Um, from um, Lisa did it from Joanne at Sacred Space, Japan. So I'm linking both those uh, videos in the description below. It's a five card spread. I'm using the Everyday Tarot new uh, deck to me. I really like it. So um, this is going to be for 2019. Concentrating on next year. Five position. The first is, what is my guiding star? What energy will direct me in my efforts in the coming year? So shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Don't have to get all the cards in order. Just the first five. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm going to cut these in threes. I didn't like that last one. And I'm going to turn up the top cards. Queen of Cups. Three of Swords. Won't be that pile. And Temperance. I'm going to go with Temperance pile. The last pile. Okay. So the, put those cards out of play. Temperance. I'm going to shuffle this pile now again. Boy, the cards are brand new. They're sticking together a little bit, but that's okay. Nice gilded edges. These cards feel really nice to uh, shuffle. You can control them down to one card. Two of swords, stop. Get that back in the deck. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. Okay, first card. One. And then we have two, three, and four together in the last card. So those on top out of play. And one. What is my guiding star? One. The chariot. Great. What is my guiding star for 2019? The chariot. The energy that will direct me and my efforts in the coming year. So a hands-off approach, I always know that, you know, the charioteur has no reins. He doesn't hold reins on the uh, on the sphinx or the horses or whatever animals your card would happen to have. Mine are definitely uh, sphinx. Such a cool deck, you know, um, how it's tradition. I just did a review on this uh, tarot deck, and I'll... Link it below in the description box. But I really like it. Three colors and then just a world with a minimal of shapes. She uh, can represent the traditional Rider Waite Smith. Although I call it non traditional. Just look at the 15 devil key. You know, uh, anyway, let's look at our cards two, three, and four. Two represents what traits will I develop in the coming year that will help me with my personal personal development of keeping a hands-off approach. I'm going to stay really open-minded, doing depth year. Um, so a hands-off approach. Not necessarily to my studies. That's going to be hands-on, you know. Maybe um, toward my life in general, having more of an open mind. Um, but this kind of energy, I guess, I'll have to make a note of that. Number two, the two of pentacles, my decanical. This little juggler um, and the ships in the background. I'm going to read the card. On this card, he's got two different colored boots, but that's not unusual on this deck. It's not like the um, seven of 
wands were. Uh, you know, that's the trouble I have with uh, reading decks. I have to remind myself to read the card. Don't get in the, uh, the uh, you know, Smith weight interpretations of a card. Read the card and the position. What traits will I develop in the coming year? Well, maybe uh, I'm going to um, get more into astrology. I, I do know the symbols and can read a natal chart okay. You know, I know the ascending and uh, moon sign. Of my uh, chart, that. But uh, decanticles, get more into that. Three, what tool will help me progress? The star. Wow, I just said astrology. And um, there it is, the star. You know, the north star. Uh, this is a card of balance for me, too. You know, one foot on water, one on land. I'm trying to stay grounded with earth energy. Uh, the third gift of the Magi. What obstacle will I face? that I can learn from. So these, it's going to be an obstacle. Nine of Pentacles. How can that be an obstacle? Hmm. Huh. That'd be a nice obstacle to have. Too much luxury. Too much growth. I don't know. Some people. What obstacles will I face that I can learn from? Huh. Nine of Pentacles. Nine. I always said I, I'd, I'd love to have a uh, parrot. <laughs> love to have a bird for a pet. Or I'd like to have a parrot tattooed on my back to tell me who's coming up behind me. So luxury, luxury would, is, would be a nice obstacle to face. So we got the chariot. Guiding star. Then the two of Pentacles for the first gift. What trait will I develop? And I mentioned astrology, and my that's my decantical card. And you know, the degrees uh fall down to 36, you know, 365 days a year and divided by 10. The second gift, what tool will help me progress? Funny I chose the star, astrology. And I just went over that one. Kind of have me baffled on that. Final five position, fifth position. What is my destination? What will I receive at the end of my journey? Is that the King of Cups? Yes, I think it is. King of Cups. Cool looking uh, version. It's got a mermaid's tail. Um, holding a cup and an empty hand. He's got a like the uh, fish on his lapel of his tunic. There's the fish in swimming and the uh, ship in the ocean going toward the future. What is my destination? What will I receive at the end of my journey? Wow. Some rich riches. I think. The uh, King of Cups is a laid back card. He's just like hanging on the, out on the sea riding with the waves you know the boat's in no hurry he's real peaceful he's got his hand like laying out it's great i'll take that so yeah let's take a look at uh spread a little that's what it looks like so i'll i'll take that good reading uh I don't draw the chariot very often, so when I do, I should pay attention to it. I draw the star enough. Um, I used to draw it a lot. It, the star reminds me of uh, the mother of my son, as a matter of fact. Red-headed, uh, uh, intelligent, feisty, Aries, you know, fire. But the star is water, right? Okay, uh, well, I hope uh, you guys like the spread. And if you do, do a uh, response or make a comment, like the video. I appreciate it. This is what I would like tonight. It happens to be my birthday, so 
Uh, I'm glad to be alive with everyone. Talk to you later. Bye.